Okay, so good evening. Uh, sorry about the delay. Today is July 25, uh, 2022. And thank you for joining us for this, this special meeting of the Burlington City Council. The time is 6.30. Uh, for those community members that are watching, we have a brief but important agenda. Um, and this is how the order will go. After calling the meeting to order and adopting our agenda, we'll have an executive session regarding the BPOA contract. Once we're out of executive session, as with all public meetings, we'll have a public forum and community members are welcome and encouraged to participate. Following the public forum, we'll have one item on, um, on our deliberative agenda, and that is the resolution ratification of the tentative agreement and authorization to execute collective bargaining agreement between the city of Burlington and the BPOA. And then after this vote, we will adjourn our meeting. Uh, so we'll begin our meeting uh, this evening with a motion to adopt the agenda. Councillor Hightower. Uh, move to adopt the agenda. Thank you, Councillor Hightower. Is there a second to that motion? Uh, seconded by Councillor Bergman. Is there any discussion on the motion to adopt our agenda? Uh, seeing none, um, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. We have an agenda. That was unanimous. Um, our next item is 2.01, which is a uh, communication with an executive, uh, expected executive session, um, and that is regarding collective bargaining with the BPOA. Uh, before we go, we before we make motions to go into executive session, um, usually look to the administration or council if they feel that there's any way, if there's anything that you wanted to say to the public by way of an update or any information. Okay, thank you. So with that, we'll go into the first motion to go into executive session, uh, Councilor Carpenter. Thank you. Um, I would move that the council find that premature um, general public knowledge and information concerning labor relations agreements with employees would clearly place the city at a substantial disadvantage with such negotiations. Thank you, Councillor Carpenter. Um, uh, is a second to that motion, seconded by Councillor Barlow. Um, is there any discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Right. Any opposed, please say no. Uh, that motion passes. And to the second motion, Councilor Carpenter. Um, I would move based on that finding, uh, move that the council go into executive session to receive confidential in updates on labor relations agreements with uh, employees according to 1 VSA uh, 313A1B. Thank you, Councillor Carpenter. Uh, seconded by Council, seconded Council by Councillor Berkman. Um, and this executive and part of the motion is the executive session will include the mayor, mayor staff, attorney John Maitland, HR Director Karen Durfee, CAO Catherine Shad, um, uh, City Attorney uh, Jared Pellerin. Um, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, aye. please say no. <laughs> Uh, that motion passes and we will go into executive session based on those motions. Um, it was sort of difficult to anticipate exa exactly how long this will take. The agenda called for an hour and a half. We don't, I don't know that it will actually take that long. Um, as soon as we're able to, we will come back to open session. Thanks. And the next item on our agenda is item 3.01, which is the public forum. Uh, before we... Um, we have one person who has signed up remotely to speak in public forum. Um, that is uh, Jay Nodell. Um, and because we only have one person, I'm, I'm not gonna go on and sign into Zoom. We do have others that are connected. Um, is, uh, do you see Jay Nodell on, um, on Zoom? Okay, so we'll wait for a second and see if, uh, if she comes on. And there are no speakers in Contois. So going once, uh, going twice, um, doesn't appear as though 
uh, Jane is on Zoom. So we'll close uh, the public forum at 7.20 and uh, we will go on to our deliberative agenda. There's only one item on the deliberative agenda. It's item 4.01, which is a resolution ratification of the tentative agreement and authorization to execute the collective bargaining agreement between the City of Burlington and the BPOA, July 1, 2022 to June 30, 2025. Um, if I could have a motion on that, Councillor Shannon. Thank you, President Paul. I move to waive the reading and adopt the resolution and ask for the floor back briefly after a second. Great, thanks. Thank you, Councillor Shannon. Is there a second to that motion? Uh, seconded by Councillor Barlow. Uh, Councillor Shannon, you have the floor. Thank you, President Paul. Um, I just want to briefly thank our negotiating team, um, including uh, our HR Director, Karen Durfee, our CAO, Catherine Chad, City Attorney Jared Pellerin, the Mayor, and especially John Maitland, who really led this charge, and I think um, really moved this in the direction that the citizens of Burlington, as well as the city council, have been hoping to go in. Um, I just want to know, I also want to thank the BPOA for um, their cooperation uh, in our efforts to make changes and, uh, and move issues forward for the benefit of Burlingtonians. Um, there's more work to do, and I think that we're all committed to doing that. And I also want to recognize and appreciate my colleagues here at the council table and at the Board of Finance who have gone through really a very rigorous process to understand this contract, to understand what's in it, what is not in it, why, and um, and how, how we're moving forward, why we're moving forward, and it has been a really rigorous process for this council. Um, and I think uh, everybody who has participated in this, who has asked questions, who has challenged, um, really deserves the um, respect for all of their efforts. So I, I thank my colleagues. Thank you, Councillor Shannon. Are there other councillors uh, that wish to, Councillor, Hightower. Great, yes. Thank you also to our bargaining team. Um, I think that, of course, this contract doesn't include everything that I want. I hear that's the way negotiating is supposed to work. Um, but I think more importantly, maybe it doesn't have everything that we need to restore community trust. So I'm personally committing to this being the start of something, as Councillor Bergman um, has said many times, and committing to doing more work and also working, um, especially with the administration and HR Director Karen Durfee and her um, capable um, next steps in making sure that, that that work is also done. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Hightower. Councillor Bergman. Well, I, I want to add my uh, my voice to the thanks to, uh, of course, the BPOA who negotiated in good faith, but to our team who spent hours with me. And uh, I appreciate the work from the mayor down, well, and all, not down, but down, on to all the other people who uh, spent some, some time with me because we've got a function which is not a rubber stamp. And so um, I'm appreciative of taking the hours that we did to make sure that I could make sure that I was not just rubber stamping something. I think that this process reveals that we still have work to do with the process itself. And I have communicated that and the details on that uh, uh, going forward. Uh, and I believe that I have gotten the commitment of the, uh, the administration to do that. I believe that this process was better than in years past, so I want to acknowledge that. I, I do not think it was good enough. And I believe that we can and we will do better. Um, I also believe that, as Councillor Hightower said, that there is a commitment to continuing the hard work. This is a long march that we are on. 
and this is one step on that, and I have heard from the administration a, um, a willingness to, to walk with us um, on that, and we did not get everything that we asked for, of course, that is bargaining, um, as well as the political nature of uh, political bodies like ours. So um, I, I, I look forward to the next uh, few years because this is just one piece of public safety and you know the, the public safety questions hang over us tonight as I think all of us are aware of. My, my ward has gotten hit significantly in the last, uh, last couple of weeks. My neighborhood, you know, where I pass like every day um, has been hit hard. So, you know, this contract is a piece, but it is only one piece of the transformation that we need to make. Um, let, let me just, I mean, I, I got a laundry list, but I won't go through it. I just want to say that we have gun control legislation that the people of Burlington passed overwhelmingly and has been languishing in the State House. Some things that may have, I don't know the, the details in terms of the domestic violence uh, incident, but that, you know, that should help in those, and they are languishing. We need our partners. To, to, to stand with us to protect the people of Burlington, to protect the people of the state of Vermont. Um, I look forward to working with the administration. I look forward to working with the BPOA. I look forward to working with all you so that we can do this complex work. It, no silver bullets to use a bad metaphor, but, uh, but it's really true. And I um, will be voting yes on this contract. Thank you, Councillor Bergman. I see Councillor McGee. Please go ahead. Thank you, President Paul. And I just want to extend my thanks as well to the, the bargaining team. Um, this is not a perfect contract by any stretch, but uh, we have made some progress. And uh, I'm certainly committed to making sure that uh, we move forward um, with the other CNA recommendations that we have yet to address that um, are very important and that um, uh, we need to move forward on quickly. So um, I'm committed to doing that work over the next several months and um, hope to find willing partners and the acting chief and the BPOA and the administration to ensure that we're making these changes to restore uh, trust within the community. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor McGee. Are there any other councillors? Uh, Councillor Freeman, please go ahead. Thank you, President Paul. I just wanted to speak quickly. I think I may likely be the only no vote tonight. Um, so I just wanted to speak quick, quickly on that. Um, you know, I can't go into um, specifics at this point, but um, I agree with uh, other councillors' points around there being some um, discernible improvements with the contract. I think there are just um, some points that don't meet the threshold um, for some of the, the main things that I was particularly concerned about. Um, I did wanna also, as many have, um, extend gratitude to the bargaining team. Um, this was a hard thing to do. I, I personally asked a lot of questions um, and uh, put forward a lot of recommendations and uh, was uh, able to work with them uh, really easily. And I, I really appreciated that. Um, I agree with uh, Councillor Bergman that there were some um, other process points that I think can be approved. I think especially going forward for me, um, wondering about how to bring in the public more. Um, I think that was something that um, became very evident towards, um, you know, sort of this last final um, stretch of it is, you know, how, how do we actually get feedback um, in real time, um, given that um, it's, it's really an the complications around it being a, an executive bargaining um, process. So uh, that was just something that I was trying to think about and uh, wondering about how to be creative about going forward. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you, Councillor uh, Freeman. Are there any other councillors uh, Did you want? Yes, uh, 
It uh, doesn't appear as though there's other counselors, so we'll go to the mayor. Thank you, President Paul. So I, I first I, um, just want to clarify for folks who are watching that might find the conversation so far a little bit confusing. There's been reference to it. Uh, our collective bargaining contracts are um, a little different than just about anything we do else we do in this table where because of the kind of codified uh, collective bargaining process until until a contract is ratified its terms are not supposed to become public um, and uh, while I am encouraged by uh, what my colleagues at the table have already said and think we're on the cusp of doing that um, everyone is is speaking uh, respecting that um, and and avoiding the details I will say that my office will, um, will first of all, we will be posting the contract uh, upon its uh, approval on board docs, and my office is working to put out um, a summary of some of the major points of it uh, uh, later on tonight, um, if in fact there is a, an affirmative vote. Um, <clears throat> It's long been a uh, real priority of this administration to attempt to negotiate our collective bargaining contracts at the, at the bargaining table, get resolution at, of, of them there, as opposed to having contracts resolved through uh, a binding arbitration process, which is a right that, our, um, that the city has, is a right that our, our uh, bargaining units have, um, but it's one that we have really sought to um, avoid. Um, I, I do believe uh, many past uh, contracts were resolved this way. It's sort of before my time. I can't speak to the details, but I'll say um, if this contract is approved tonight, it will be the 11th straight contract spanning three different um, bargaining sessions um, where we've been able to, uh, to, to, to achieve that goal, to get to a, uh, a negotiated outcome. Um, that both sides feel good enough to ratify and put their put their um, approval behind, um, and we will be working to make that uh, complete and secure um, the firefighters' uh, agreement, if possible, um, in the coming months, which would uh, is would be the final contract of this bargaining round. I must say, going into this process, into this round, uh, I had real concerns that we would not be able to achieve that with. The, the police contract, given um, the uh, challenges um, that uh, we are seeing in public safety, uh, given the uh, um, <clears throat> many concerns that have been at a certainly a national level are been articulated about police union contracts and um, rightful concern that. Uh, some of those systematic problems were reflected in, in Burlington's contract. So um, uh, that was, uh, those are, I thought we really had uh, the possibility going into this process of ending up in a protracted dispute. Um, fortunately, I believe everyone involved recognized that that would be extraordinarily damaging and problematic um, in the Burlington context right now at a time when we are um, dramatically down in the number of officers we have at a time when we are seeking to move forward aggressively um, to uh, rebuild the department and uh, at a time when we're facing, uh, I think certainly from my perspective, a greater level of public safety challenge than any point in the last decade and at a time when um, there is uh, a need to move move forward on uh, numerous police accountability and uh, measures. Um, everyone recognized that, and when I, everyone, I, I certainly mean uh, the Burlington Police Officer Association, the administration, and and the council. And um, as a result, it appears we are um, uh, on the cusp of approving a contract that will uh, work very much. Uh, hand in hand with the rebuilding uh, plan budget that the council approved last month that will give Chief Murad and the rest of the leadership team at the, at the uh, uh, Burlington Police Department the tools that they need to um, move uh, uh, affirmatively towards rebuilding the department um, and that does uh, as will uh, 
be shown momentarily, uh, make important advancements um, in numerous areas of the contract language, um, as well as uh, give the city the ability to consider further, further policy changes and um, uh, further reform work in the future. Um, all in all, um, if, if we do in fact have the ratification of this tonight, I think it's a major step forward for the city and I appreciate the partnership of this council. Thank you, Mayor Weinberger. Uh, and thank you so much to all councilors for your thoughtful comments this evening and um, all the work that we have all done to bring forward insightful questions during this process. Um, are there other, any other councilors who have any comments before we go to a vote? I just, oh, Councillor Bergman. I, I just want to thank you, Councillor Paul, President Paul, uh, because you gave us the time to do that. And uh, I really appreciate that. So I, I think it is worth uh, saying thank you. Oh, well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Um, seeing no other comments, uh, we have a motion, we have a second. So we'll go to a vote. And just once again, the motion is to ratify the tentative agreement and the authorization to execute the collective bargaining agreement between the city of Burlington and the BPOA for the next three years, um, starting, well, actually starting on July 1 of 2022 and going to June 30 of 2025. Um, if the clerk could please call the roll. Councillor Barlow? Yes. Councillor Bergman? Yes. Councillor Carpenter? Yes. Councillor Jang? Yes. Councillor Freeman? No. Uh, Councillor Hansen? Yes. Councillor Hightower? Yes. Councillor McGee? Yes. Councillor Shannon? Yes. Councillor Traverse? Yes. City Council President Paul? Yes. 10 ayes, one nay, one absent. So the motion passes. Um, would like to, I'd also like to add my thanks to the city bargaining team and the BPOA for their bargaining efforts resulting in this three year contract. Um, so that completes our deliberative agenda and our meeting. Um, given that, I just ask for a motion to adjourn. Um, so moved by Councillor Bergman and seconded by Councillor Carpenter. All those in favor of the motion to adjourn, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? We are adjourned at 7.38. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, enjoy the rest of your month.